Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be another video from our series, Let's Talk. Um, I know we've done one before, maybe two, yeah, and two. so we would like to continue with that. We thought, you know what, it's about time we did another one. So today's topic, as you saw in the video's title, is going to be about adoption. Mm -hmm. So this is something we get asked about all the time, and there's good reason for that. Um, lots of people who are dealing with infertility, adoption is a big topic that comes up um, as you're kind of reassessing your situation and where you want to go from here. Um, so we want to discuss a little bit more about our thoughts and opinions on adoption and kind of what we believe is right for us. So what we have for you today are three or four kind of main points as to why adoption isn't as simple as you may think. Alright, so the very first kind of reason that we thought of and that we've been using a lot to explain to people when we do get asked this question is just that we haven't yet given up on kind of the root of conceiving ourselves. And that means, obviously because we're using a donor, that doesn't necessarily mean biologically, but it means physically. I have this insane dream of being pregnant and experiencing all the horror that goes along with it and I want to experience childbirth and labor and breastfeeding and all of these things that I, you know, as a woman, I feel almost the right to or the desire to. And, and that's not for everybody, not saying that we're all, you know, the same, but that's something I've always wanted to do. And I'm not ready to give up on that yet. We have a few kind of roads that we can take to allow me to experience that and so I want to kind of exhaust all those options before I were to move on to not um, physically carrying my own child. Um, that's just something I've always dreamed of and as you might know when you have a dream it's really hard to kind of change your way of thinking um, so that would be the biggest reason for us. A lot of people um, you know when we say that to them they go why? Why would you want to go through that, you know? But it's Ayla's dream, it's what she wants, so we're going to try and make that happen for her. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I know that I'm going to be feeling horrible, uncomfortable, pukey, all of that jazz, but I'm sure a lot of you would agree with me. Sometimes you just, you like, want that. You're like, I wish I would give anything to be puking my guts out right now because I know that that would mean I would be pregnant. I would give anything for that. And as ridiculous as it is, it's just it's just how it is, and I can't change that. <laughs> and I also have always kind of thought about um, that opportunity when Ayla's pregnant, where I get to run to the store, I get to go <laughs> get things for her cravings, you know, I get to be there to support her, look after her, and I actually am looking forward to that. Um, I think that'll be a really cool experience for me, and I think she deserves to be kind of taken care of and pampered like that uh, because she'll have an actual baby inside her. So that's one of the main things for me as well when it comes to uh, her conceiving naturally. For sure. Two. 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 Number two. So when it comes to the actual adoption procedure and that entire process, um, it really is a process. It can actually be as long as three years. There is a large financial commitment as well. So this can range from getting an application sent in to get for starters, and then once you've gone to an information session, you've had a home study done, and a home study actually has to be done every 12 months. Mm -hmm. So you guys can do the math, three month three waiting period, three, years. three home studies. Yeah. And now I don't have the financial information in front of me right now, however, um, you know, it is, that, that can add up to a couple thousand dollars just for the home studies. Yeah. There's also the psychology appointments for us, but mostly there's an expense for the birth parents as they have to go through a number of appointments leading up to the actual adoption, just making sure they're ready and that this is the right choice for them. So by the time you add everything up, it actually is about $14,000 roughly. And that's not considering the fact that you're going to have more than one home study. Once you start adding those in, you're getting up to sixteen, seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000. And this is, I mean, stretched out over three years, but uh, it is a lot of money and it's a lot of time to wait. So that's one reason why adoption really isn't as easy as you might think. 
and you know it's it can be just as difficult if not harder than um, conceiving naturally or doing IVF or fertility treatments of any sort and the other thing too is we would be interested in private adoption um, we're not ruling out adoption at this point it's just something that we would still consider even if we had children of our own we would like to do it you know maybe in a couple years maybe for you know a second or a third or even a fourth child depending on where our lives are at and so we're definitely still going to consider it and we're just wanting to let you guys know how difficult it can be yeah. all right number three the other big thing um, that we have kind of considered as we've done more research about adoption in our area is that the wait lists are actually quite extensive. They are very long and um, from what I've looked at online, uh, there's an average of about three years wait time in our area. And that that's crazy, like that's a really long time to wait. And I know we've been waiting, you know, already almost three years because we yeah. are you know, it comes September will be three years of trying to conceive. And I just like, I really don't think I can sit idly by that long waiting and waiting. So something we have considered is possibly putting ourselves in for the application now, just in case, and then still doing fertility treatments, which sounds like a great option, of course, but then you have to consider the finances of it because a lot of um, costs go into that initial first um, application and set up of everything then so that's like a lot it's a lot, <laughs> it's yeah, a lot. and it is a lot. yeah so I'm thinking in terms of adoption that it would sound good to us further down the line when we feel a little bit more established and waiting three years isn't as difficult isn't as heart-wrenching so these are basically just some of the reasons that we've come up over over the past three years of why we have not yet kind of gone the route of adoption. Um, like we said before, this does not mean that we will never do it. We for sure have it on our radar and we for sure are interested in doing it in the future. Um, we just would like to pursue a different avenue for now. Um, with all that being said, if you or anyone that you know has experienced adoption in whatever form, being adopted yourself, um, adopting your own children, etc, etc, we would love to hear from you. Well, I really hope you guys got something out of this Let's Talk video. If you do like this little series that we like to put together, give it a thumbs up and let us know any other kind of Let's Talk topics that you think we should discuss and we'll be sure to make a video for you. So until the next video, please comment and subscribe if you haven't already and we can't wait to see you again. Check out all the links down below. We'll have our other Let's Talk videos down there as well. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.